everyone and welcome to Silver in the Stars. We are so excited to bring the show to you today. Before we get started, we wanted to thank our supporters and sponsors. Starting off, we have Start Playing Games. Start Playing is the number one website for finding games, groups, and professional game masters. Sign up for a new account on Start Playing and get a $10 credit using the link in chat. Next, we have our two sponsors that are helping us with our giveaways. The first is Limithron. In addition to creating Pirate Borg RPG, Limithron is a map maker known for their ship and pirate themed battle maps. With over 800 battle maps, each of which is Foundry VTT ready, you can find all the pirate, spelljammer, and naval themed maps you need. Pirate Borg is available for instant pre order, but will be sailing into retail stores on International Talk Like a Pirate Day, September 19th. Check your friendly local gaming store to see if they're hosting a Talk Like a Pirate Day event, or go to limithron.com to suggest a store to them. If you're interested in running Pirate Borg, make sure to check out the new Harbor Master program to learn how to get free swag for each game you run. Learn more at limithron.com. And our second giveaway sponsor is Gemhammer and Sons. Gemhammer and Sons is a Boston-based TTRPG accessory forge and traveling shop of wondrous items. Focused on providing more better game stuff, Gemhammer is the only place to go for decks of many things, critical hits and failures, and adventure guides that direct you to the adversaries and riches that only walking around with a half-orc barbarian can buy. Last but not least, I'd love to thank our partner for this AP series, Warlocks and Waffles, the best and only TTRPG morning show airing Mondays and Fridays at 8 a.m. It features two of our cast members, Junie Ruiz and Hunter Fell. With all of that said and done, let's start the show. We find our crew high above. It's not quite a planet, it is a skull the size of a planet, surrounded by 20 small moons. As you all gaze down at this unusual sight, you notice lightning crackling within the eye sockets. You notice that there is some foliage covering not only the skull, but the surrounding moons. It's wild, it's untamed. From this distance, it looks pretty verdant. Verdant isn't quite the right word because verdant implies green. These foliages that cover this area, because you are so far out into deep space, they can't photosynthesize in the way standard plants do. You see a swath of lavender foliage. Um, from this distance, there are dusky grays mixed in as well. You can tell that there are trees, but it is probably more lichens and things that don't need quite as much sunlight, things that would thrive in this sort of shadowed area. There is some light from distant stars, but it is certainly not daylight as you all know it. As you gaze down onto this planet, what is your first instinct to do? Do you want to head towards it? Do you want to hang back a little bit? What are you all doing faced with this colossal skull that is ancient in nature? I'm a little freaked out by it, not gonna lie. I was not expecting it to look like this. I was hoping it'd be like a smaller like a moon or something like that. I mean, there are smaller moons. <laughs> yeah, but I'm assuming we're not landing on one of those. Um, I was hoping for something less scary, to be quite honest. Pyrrhic looks <laughs> ecstatic. <laughs> Why would they not? Why would she not? <laughs> Alvin's um, just... Oh, good. Cal was just analyzing the data banks that they had received from uh, the formerly known as Jeff Rock DSD, uh, seeing what information is compiled in there about this. Uh, sure, go ahead and make a presence roll to see what you can glean. I'm so glad we did that. <laughs> <laughs> what, murdered the one like driving yeah. force of the story? <laughs> no, they live inside we Kelvin now. We didn't yeah. give it a second yeah. thought. There was not a single moment where we were like, maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> I did almost yeet it 
like off the ship. The That's first true. You did yeah. it immediately. But now we <laughs> have to have a fraught that. last few days yeah. in the galaxy. It was licked thrown away. It was thrown. Tim's father yeah. has it. Um, that was a seven on your presence test. Yeah. Ooh, as you're scrolling back and forth through, um, the diary that you have does detail. This is where they initially wanted to bury the treasure, um, this captain. Uh, and as you've gone through, you've noticed that he never refers to himself by name. Why would you wouldn't say, dear diary, my name is Rosie. Um, you are scrolling back and forth through these archives and you do hear mention of the skull. It was actually something that he himself had killed a millennia or more ago. There's great talk of a battle. It's actually quite flourishy and flowery in text. Um, but these moons don't really have a mention in these early entries. Just the beast and its skull, which was stripped and looted. The body carcass flung far out into space after it was stripped for anything valuable. Meat, scales, whatever. Um, these moons are a little bit of a mystery to you. Sort through the log of that as uh, Ben can do what he was doing in this very moment as I'm analyzing that before I give it all the information over to the crew. Okie doke. Uh, ben, what are you doing? Uh, ben is sort of sitting on the, uh, uh, like up at the front of the ship, observing this, this massive head. Um, and he's just kind of like looking at it. And I don't think... I don't think Ben has seen a lot of things that are larger than him. Yeah. And that is clearly a creature that would be larger than him. By um, miles, literally. By a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um so I think Ben like Ben is a pretty steadfast individual. I don't think he's ever experienced something that he would have called fear. Um, but looking at that, there is definitely an unfamiliar feeling for Ben. Go ahead and make a spirit roll. Uh, that's not a good ability. Five. Oh. Um, yeah, no, you're downright scared, but I don't know if Ben would have the vocabulary for that, if he would know to label it as such, but it is definitely this sort of uneasiness in the pit of your stomach. Does Ben have a stomach? Um, who's he has a He has a thing where food goes. <laughs> yeah. Garbage. Deep within the vessel He's in your body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where does the soup go? Wherever the soup went, it's, it's, it's a little uneasy feeling there. Um, this skull in and of itself, when I say the size of a planet, it's not like Jupiter sized, but it is mm -hmm. a planet. It's probably Pluto sized. It is oh, enough so to hold planet. orbit to these moons, to a couple stray asteroids, even pulling your ship in a little bit as you begin to approach it. Anything else anyone else would like to do as you gaze upon this skull? I'm uh, uh, Oliver is definitely trying to find the words that even come close to the actual real life description you used to uh, describe uh, this place. Mm. Uh, as you were describing that, I was like, "Dang, that's good." I don't think he's gonna write that good. And so he's trying. He's trying to do that, but also uh, seeing uh, how everybody else is reacting because those are real moments that need to be documented. So mm. it's a it's a bounce between trying to take in as much on the planet and. Uh, uh, describing it as, as to the best of his ability uh, and seeing how everybody's reacting uh, and and what our captain is going to do and what the first move is going to be. <laughs> so it's just like a bouncing between like trying to trying to do three complicated tasks at one time uh, because that's that's the easy thing to do in this moment. So he's just like writing and looking and up and writing, yeah, back and forth. All yeah, right. bouncing between you know, notes, notes and notes. Excellent. And what is the captain doing? <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. Um, oh. 
like like not like freaking out in a bad way but just like this is a very scary big thing i did not expect it to be this big it's definitely a little overwhelming actually can i roll because calvin made a copy and passed it on to me can Ooh. i um in last session can we can i roll something just to kind of like access the database i also have as well to kind of yes, see like you both okay. have a copy yeah we both have a copy okay go ahead and make a presence roll and i know it's not as good as spirit but <laughs> no it's okay i rolled pretty well um i got a um a 14. oh okay um and i will let you both compare notes in just a minute i'll give you your information and then calvin and ariel can compare um, you're scrolling through and you kind of read about the same battle with this gargantuan ancient monster that Captain had dispatched. Um, as you're kind of scrolling through a little bit more, you pick up on the creation of the first moon that they set into orbit purposefully around the skull. And then you scroll further, you hear them talking about here you're reading it's it's interesting because it's all internal um you see here read about the creation of the second moon and the third and the fourth each one specifically designed to hold the ever-growing horde of this captain is there anything that indicates that there is horde in um in the skull itself or are all the treasures on the moons Ooh, you surmise with that role that the skull itself acted as their base and as what is referred to loosely as an access point. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go to the other computer on board. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to Calvin and be like, Hello, yes, can you, um, I was going through the DSD and I was wondering what, have you gone through it at all yet? Yes, I've been trying to compile the information, but so far my search function has only pulled up the battle for that made this skull. A battle. Uh, do you, um, I I pulled up. I got the battle as well, but then went a little bit farther down, and there was um, the the moons. The moons are what are holding the treasure. the The skull itself was like a, a launch bay, uh, an HQ, but the the treasures on the moons. May I pose a theory? Yes, always. If the skull is an access point, there must be technology that matches the original uh, Jeff Rock DSD that okay. you would have been used for. Calvin, I could hug you. Can, can, can I? Can, can I hug you? <laughs> Hugging is appropriate in this situation. Okay, give Calvin a very. It's not even like a very. It's like oh, and I'm robotic. just a robotic arm. Yeah, pat, <laughs> just pat, 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 pat. pat, pat, pat. <laughs> Like, I think that's what a hug is. All right. You're an absolute genius. Let's <laughs> make way then to the school itself. And hopefully we can find more things there. Excellent. In the midst of this very tender robotic hug, uh, you all feel a jolt as the ship lurches forward. Something has impacted your vessel. Who would like to determine what that might have been? Because you are now heading fast towards the skull, as one of your uh, thrusters has been incapacitated. My mind immediately goes to like, did Tim do something? So I right I, somewhere <laughs> cleaning right? I, yeah, well, it's like you never know. He could be smarter than we give him credit for. Yeah, so, this is the curse of the captain. The ca uh, you know what? Maybe it's just the captain's curse. You just suspect Tim. Like, that's yeah. just what happened. I'll, as well, soon as Oliver handed off being captain, he no longer yeah. hates him. I am like, yeah, maybe I'm the captain. Yeah, oh of no. Them. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, I know, right? I do, I do want to go and just make sure Tim is still, like, under supervision of our... Tim NPC is in the galley <laughs> with Oscar, and he's just kind of mopping the same spot over and over, but you are, like, in mid-crash, so maybe right now isn't the best time to yeah. check on Cabin Bro. Yeah, I know. No, I'm, tell I'm him to mop more than one spot. Well, I was, I thought he sabotaged it. That's what my mind went to. Like, oh, he sabotaged it. Um, so I guess I'm going to yell out. I'm not going to yell it to Oliver. <laughs> um, uh, Oliver's busy. Either 
Etheric or Calvin or Ben, I kind of yell out and go, can someone go take a look at that, please, and thank you? Sure, I can go look. Go for it, Pyrrhic. Uh, I'll make a presence roll or a toughness roll. Or agility, depending on like how you're trying to get to the back end of the ship as it is crashing. <laughs> Ooh. 20. Beautiful. Excellent. You are able to quickly get to the back of the ship. Again, the sloop is not very big. Um, you notice smoke rising from one of the two main thrusters at the back of the ship. As you're kind of looking down and assessing the damage, you look up and there is that rival ship behind you gaining fast and launching an assault on your vessel. We have company, old friends. <laughs> you hear just a loud fuck from the front of the ship again. How's That's it? the one we're allowed, we're PG-13. <laughs> yep, there it is. Oh no, I stole it from someone. I'm sorry, I take it's it back. It's, it's, it's the burden of the captain. You were, if anything, if anybody needed to use it. <laughs> um, uh, I immediately, we gotta, well, we gotta yeah. fire back. We gotta fire back. Do we have like weaponry on the ship? You have, um, I believe, two cannons on each side of the sloop. Cannons, they're laser cannons. If, if you were like looking around, what would you do? I would definitely like, I, as far as looking busy, I am just writing, but I would kind of like point in the direction of like, the, 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 they're over there. If you were like, where's the guns? Where's the guns? I'd be there's like, there. there. Uh, Calvin, you had something you wanted to do? Yeah, I was gonna immediately go back to the helm and make or take uh, maneuvers to try and at least get out of immediate firing range of the ship. Ooh, okay. Go ahead and make a presence or toughness check, because right now the wheel's kind of spinning wildly. There is no like control of the ship at the moment. Ooh, excellent! Ooh. You are able to, with your robot body, grab on, know exactly what needs to be done, wait for the rotation to hit the right moment, grab the wheel, and at least you're not sort of spinning through space anymore. You are now headed straight for the planet, but it's not as rough an entry. What the hell does everyone do? And you don't feel like with that one thruster gone, it would be very difficult to position the ship, and you realize this with that presence roll, it would be very difficult to position the ship to attack the other ship. You are just, at this point, Bracing for the best landing possible. All right then, no guns. Um, I'm gonna assist Calvin and maybe flip some switches, adjust some thrusters, put on something to soften the blow because we also need to get off of this planet too. And what I'm worried about is we're gonna get totaled and we won't be able to get off. So I'm gonna try to find and figure out if there's like a power setting I can adjust to um, uh, soften the blow of the landing. Go ahead and make a presence roll to see if you can discern that. All right. That is a full on 20. Excellent. With that 20, you know that in order to survive in space, there is an atmospheric bubble around your ship. Mm -hmm. You can temporarily increase this to create a denser atmosphere that would soften the landing somewhat, you believe. But because it would increase the atmosphere, it would make the organics a little bit lightheaded because you are in essentially influxing their immediate breathable air with way too much oxygen and nitrogen. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna, wait, who are, who are the organics on the ship? That would be Pyrrhic and Oliver, I believe. I don't think okay. Ben counts. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> fine. He'll be fine. He's here. He's just enjoying the ride. He's just a big old rock boy. Yeah, I'll, I'm like, Oliver will be fine. Um, I do yell <laughs> for Pyrrhic. Um, about to get it. Uh, um, basically, I yell something to the extent of like, um, "I'm increasing the atmospheric pressure," and I slam down to. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I need I Oliver in. Breath, at least. Wait, uh, he's like, he's like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oliver and <laughs> here, like, go huh? ahead and make toughness rolls, please. Mm. You also can hold your breath for um, two plus your strength score. For that many minutes. Right. Okay. All right. Well, 
That, so that I means I can nice, hold my breath for nice... four minutes. Oh, period. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, nice confident zeros in Tough, there. Uh, toughness let's see. is not my strong suit. I know. I don't think toughness is anyone's strong suit. No. <sighs> Woohoo! That's very good. You know what? I rolled a two, but that's because oh. I was like, wait, what? Uh, yeah, both of you are caught. Of um, air, like, like, huh? Ariel <laughs> says it just a little bit too late for you all to take a breath before the atmosphere increases. So you both now have an oversaturation within your lungs. You're holding your breath, but you you definitely got a little bit lightheaded there for a minute. Um, your vision doubles and blurs as you crash, which makes it a little unsteady as you brace for this landing is the best way to call it. Uh, you mm -hmm. all make mm -hmm. impact with the skull quickly, but that atmospheric cushion does help as well as the angle of entry that was perfected by Calvin. So between those two factors, all of you come out of this relatively unscathed. The big boy Terry, maybe not so much, but you all have a little bit of a rough, you know, like when you have a turbulent airplane landing? Yeah. It's a bit yeah. like that. Not enough to break legs. It's just you land hard with that oof sort of feeling. You bounce a little bit before skidding to a stop on this cold, dim planet. The foliage here again is this odd dusty lavender color with dusky grays and other sort of dim pale colors. It is incredibly alien, even for space where we find ourselves. Um, you are all now free to move about the cabin as soon as Ariel resets the atmosphere so our organics can breathe again. <laughs> I reset the atmosphere as quickly as I can. Excellent. And you all would feel that lifting of pressure and the air becomes breathable. It takes you a moment to steady yourselves. You are now on this planet. What are you all doing? The ship is a little bit on fire as well on the back. Oh. I'm going to run and try to put it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a whole and... engine. You, you, what, oh, what are never you mind then. I thought it was like a fire on the deck and I was like, I got it. Now, whereas um, the big boy Terry has two main thrusters at the back of the ship, one of them was shot by the rival crew, and that is now actively on fire. <laughs> okay. Calvin will immediately try to cut any power that's heading to the engines just to make sure there's no circuitry that's connecting up anymore uh, to avoid any continued electrical uh, fires happening or exploding. Um, Natalie, can you move your microphone just a little bit closer? It's, um, your gain is cutting you off a little bit. Gain? Oh no. Alright. Okay. Making sure. Okay. Right. So, to repeat, Calvin's gonna try and just immediately cut off any active, uh, power sources for the ship, uh, just to disconnect from the engine so no continual electrical current is heading in and causing any more potential problems. Okay, um, go ahead and make a presence roll, please. Making it sweet time. All right, Alchemy, I'll use real dice then, sure. Yeah, Alchemy's been a little bit finicky today. All right. Oh, that's good. Um, 19 total. Oh, excellent. Um, you are able to identify which wires are live and severed and able to shut those down quickly, um, whether interfacing through the main helm or just physically like tossing them away out of like the paths of exit and egress. Um, what else are you all doing as the fire is starting to spread a little bit now? It's, I, I am then going to run to Oscar and Tim and get them out of the brig and get them to safety. Excellent. Um, Oscar, um, you find them with Oscar kind of leaned over Tim. Tim did not brace for landing. Neither one of them really could. They weren't warned. Mm -hmm. They weren't out there. Um, Tim seems to be injured. You don't quite know the extent of it yet, but Oscar's kind of leaning over him. And as you like say, hey, we got to go, Oscar will lift up Tim because Oscar is quite a bit bigger and mm -hmm. will leave the galley. Okay. Yeah. And I lead them to just a safe area off the ship, I guess. Yep. Mm -hmm. Free to do so. Anything else you all are doing as you begin to exit the ship? Uh, Is there any I... sort of, like, 
fire pr protocol where uh, I would have thought of like making sure none of my important data that I don't pretty sure is not backed up in some sort of cloud or something is on this ship. <laughs> <laughs> like, or backpack of hard drives. Um. Yeah, like you know, it's just like I would go like there's a button to eject the engine or <laughs> just like is, is there like a black room, a black box room or something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I will say because you have been with the ship the longest. Um, go ahead and make mm -hmm. a whatever is better for you presence or spirit roll at advantage you know this ship like the okay. back of your hand mm -hmm. it's whether or right, not you can so, uh, recall these details in a panic oh my gosh there you go <laughs> i didn't show oliver, up on my end oliver we'll knows up. one thing about this ship and it's where his <laughs> how to is. protect it yeah <laughs> no no um, lie it hasn't even showed up on my end yet so i don't know 21. what i rolled uh, oh well, damn, so... damn right! I know where the hell this the, yeah. the, the <laughs> an, um, anti bad stuff button is. With uncommon grace and speed that none of you have seen from Oliver, <laughs> he because my shit hasn't up. been on fire before. <laughs> yeah, your story has never He's been like threatened to this degree. Vaulting over the side, <laughs> doing the front flips. I'm, par I'm we're parkouring like, over. We're running, stuff. we're running up the stairs to get out of the bottom, and Oliver is like sliding down the banister and then flipping <laughs> over us. Like I would like to imagine Oliver is also saying parkour every time he does a new move. Parkour. <laughs> parkour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. as you are, um, as you recall with incredible clarity, not only where your stuff is, but also the ship's fire protocols, you leap towards the main helm and you begin pressing a series of buttons. Buttons that have actually gotten a bit dusty because they never had to be used. You slam down on this bright blue button that ejects the, um, which one would it be? The starboard engine. So now it is away from the ship. You have stopped the fire in its tracks, effectively. The back half of the ship is still a little bit crispy, um, but you have stopped it from spreading further. Uh, you also know exactly where all of your hard drives, tablets, wherever you keep your story, you are able to immediately recall that is, gather them up as you exit the ship. They are all safe. Yeah, napkins, tablets, hard drives, uh... Uh, VHS tapes, but like it's written on the tape part of VHS tapes. Like it's like there was one one rough week where he had nothing else to work with, uh, so it's just <laughs> it's gone a multitude of different things. Um, the the cache uh, of story. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Uh, I gotta lug this with me. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Rosie, go ahead. Yes. Um. Do I feel like the ship is like, we're probably not flying back on this. Not without some serious repairs. Do I see like any sort of uh, like, um, like stabilizer energy sort of thing? Like as a part of the ship? Like a battery or? Like something that would like blast. <sighs> oh. Or or um, like one of the, like uh, you said we had cannons on the side, like anything yeah. like that. Do I see anything like that? I mean, there's the four cannons. Ben would be big enough to like heft one on his mm -hmm. shoulder if he wanted. Um, aside so, from that, it would be whatever weapons you all brought with you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the, the reason I ask is that uh, with my level up, um, Ooh. I, Ooh. I get, I get something called boomstick, uh, oh, no. <laughs> which is a top, a top of the line blunderbuss. You got that boomstick blunderbuss, blunderbuss. It's a DR, a DR eight to hit, uh, and 10 damage if I'm in melee range. Uh, otherwise it's a DR 12 and a DR four. Um, so, oh <laughs> uh, the, uh, essentially I'm looking to just like, rip something off that would shoot things. I'm just going to kind of like jam it into my arm there uh, so that it's like mounted. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of your small onboard cannons would fit the bill. <laughs> Dope. And none of them mm -hmm. are damaged. They're a little bit out of place because of the rough landing, but you have your pick. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will pull that then. Oh my gosh. 
So the big boy Terry has now made its full stop. It is no longer actively an inferno. It is not on fire anymore. Um, you are welcome to stay here. You are welcome to exit the ship. The ship is not flying anytime soon. You will need to find parts to repair it or find another way off planet. Does it look like they're following us? Or does Ooh, it look like yeah. or That's does it look like question. they thought this was like a stop on the way and have passed us by? You um, don't immediately see them. You don't hear them either. Um, in the commotion of you all crashing, you've lost sight of them. They are not in the immediate vicinity. They don't seem to, if they would have by this time, if they were actively going after you, you would know. Okay. What is the distance between our current location and like the next moon? <laughs> oh, um, I mean, they're moons. It, it's not. Yeah, like it's, like <laughs> it's a moon. Yeah, um, I figured. Moon distance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay. Well, Part of then like our moon okay. to Earth, um, okay. because this is a small planet. Um, the moons are mm -hmm. quite a bit closer. I would say maybe three miles up. Yeah, because what I'm worried is that we're now stuck on this skull with nowhere to go. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna, like, I don't know. I've never really gotten my hands dirty before, but, like, screw it. They just kind of, like, look at the ship, and I'm like, okay, how are we gonna fix this? I would like to roll to know how to fix the ship. <laughs> ooh, okay, make a... Ooh. It's gotta be presence, because presence is where the mind it's, knowledge is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's being smart. Have you considered that everyone on the show- Wait, who here has the highest presence? Who here is the smartest? You got two computers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but one of them's a dumb computer. Um... <laughs> My presence is plus three. Ooh. My presence is in the negatives. Um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was not built for information. I was so built I might for have like ne negative. <laughs> I, I was built to like be like a like like a tr like a companion robot. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> Let's see. You're C3PO. We've yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 You're all this is not my programming. Yeah. <laughs> so this is not in my programming. Um. Okay. Decent. But let's see how this one of fire. Okay. So it's a thirteen. It's a ship. Um. You've worked on other ships, not like mm -hmm. mechanically, but you have been on other ships. You've been around when people have had to make repairs. This is a repair that would not only take time, but would also take some pretty complicated parts. You determine that it is really only that one thruster that needs to be replaced if you could find a suitable replacement. Yeah. Everything else in the ship seems to be pretty operational. You had about as smooth a landing as that could have been. I have an idea. Oh and I don't know if the room is gonna like it. <laughs> the way you said that is terrifying. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. So, I'm assuming we don't have the parts for the thruster around us right now i'm assuming but there is a perfectly good ship full of people that we just have to get rid of <laughs> so what i am pitching to the group um this is ariel this kind of like listen crazy idea i know i shouldn't say crazy more bonkers um what if we did a little switcheroo with the ships we just get them here and we got on this ship. <laughs> you want to Jack Sparrow this? I, sure, that's you the word you could use pull, for you it. You want them to pull up and be like, ah, we got them. And then we swing onto their <laughs> ship and fly away while they're searching our ship for us. That's a less like cool way of saying it. But yeah, I want to Jack Sparrow this. Oh, well, man. it would certainly stop them from following us. Yeah, We could exactly. blow up our ship once we're in the air. Oh, yeah, we could. God. We could. Ooh. Could okay. So if we were gonna Would do Oliver that, let this that is, happen. This is not. This is not a Ben decision. This is not a Ben decision because Ben can't. I'd have to ask. My, I'd have to ask. Um, my <laughs> but like, I feel like this is a very good story, and Ben should like uh, your compass is probably on board with a good story. I uh, <laughs> probably. If we if we could lure them down, and they were gonna go search our ship then we could probably like 
there's still more of those energy cannons on the side. We can probably rig those to, like, blow up. And then we have two computer people. You guys can probably interface with those in some way. We get onto their ship, and then once they're on our ship, we blow it up. I, oh my. I love and we can it. and we can either leave our little kobold friend on the ship for them to find, or we can take him with us. Either way, well, he's a child. We fine. have to take him with us. <laughs> <laughs> that child is current child. Clarity to the audience: not a child. He's, he's um, that kobold. <laughs> Nineteen. <laughs> um, that's a shot. I don't know. To me, like I think, 19, like that's a weird time. Like I don't. If think you're saying adult. teen, <laughs> he's still a child. Okay. Yeah. If you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, if he can't legally drink in every spaceport, he is a child. <laughs> Most of them he can, just not all. Um, Tim <laughs> is currently unconscious and held in Oscar's arms. Uh, if anyone wants to like determine how injured he is, that's up to you all. But I get the feeling y'all like really don't like Tim. I like him. <laughs> Um, the audience asked, are we saving the snacks slash squids? <laughs> uh, Ben, oh, absolutely. Oh, like, <laughs> as, if, if you, uh, if we, like, flash back to, like, <laughs> Oliver doing all of his parkour down the stairs, you see, uh, Ben doing the same thing much less gracefully, uh, just <laughs> crashing through things, grabbing a bag of, of squids, and then getting out to the top. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, Priorities. I... I want to wake up Tim because he might know the best way to lure his dad here. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, that's so good. Tim's convenient. Like, we can't yeah. just get rid of him. <laughs> Tim oh. still serves a purpose. Tim's a plot device. To be Tim's a, yeah, this isn't a person. This is a plot device. Um, oh my gosh. Who wants yeah, to wake really up? trying to make it so he can, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to wake up Tim? I'll wake up Tim. Go for it, Kirk. <laughs> Um, depending on if you, like, are trying to gently wake Tim up, or how, how do you want to wake Tim up? And I will tell you what to roll. <laughs> I think she starts, uh, just kind of, like, rep like, very rhythmically tapping him on the forehead with a talon that looks weirdly identical to his. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I make that a so much. spirit check. <laughs> Pyrrhic is just consistently horrifying. I love Pyrrhic. Um, so good. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yes. Whatever you want to happen, happens. Um, <laughs> you are rhythmically tapping, Tim. Is your intention to startle or to like gently wake up? I, I want to gently wake him, but I want his first, like, sight to be just her face, he, like, very, very close oh. to him. <laughs> oh! Um, Tim kind of very, very slowly blinks open his eyes. Um, they're a little bit crossed as they focus, and you are the first thing he sees poking him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he startles, and then he wins. Ah! And he reaches for his leg, wincing in pain. What happened? Well, he's alive at least. Yeah, am I? Are we? What happened? Your father Your dad attempted happened. To yeah, he does that. Um, up on it. <laughs> where are we? We're inside of a skull. And Tim will look around. Okay, okay, and he'll like close his eyes again. <laughs> no, 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 open, mm. eyes open, right now, uh uh, eyes open, right now. What do you want? We, 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 we're in a bit of a situation where we need to get off of the skull and head towards one of the moons that are nearby, but we don't have access to one of our thrusters because your dad shot it and now we can't use it anymore so huh. we need your help tim and i think you can get back into our good graces by doing so by we need we need your dad and his ship to come this way and we need your help figuring out how to do that 
Is is he around? Like, and he like looks up almost fearfully, trying to like spot, see if like the dad's circling. Is, um, is the dad circling? Do we do we see him? The ship is not in sight. Yeah. Mm. Like, no, he's not circling. We we need to get him to circle. Okay. How are you gonna do that? That's why we're asking you. Like, what would get his attention, or like, ah. yes. Or um, just how he thinks. Like, he th- does this I mean, sound like an ambush? Or... Just kind of sounds like he didn't want you all around. Um, it sounded like he was trying to kill you, to be honest. I, I, if... I don't know how we're here. If he actually shot at you, how did we? How did we land? Ben Are just we goes. Still alive? Ben just goes. <laughs> See, that sounds like death, though. No, you're alive. Alive. Okay. Okay. Ben Ben points at uh, Ben points at Ariel and just goes, "Good captain." Oh, oh, thank, thank you, thank you, Ben. Oh, that's 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 so kind of you. Um, okay. Oh. Well, thank if you. His, if his intention was to kill you, which I think it was, if you knew you were still alive, that might draw him in. Right. We could do that. Do we have a trance, like a like a like a ship signaler thing, like like you know when boats are out in the water and you can radio like a the other ship? Yeah, transponder. Do we have that? Yeah, for sure. What if we just like radioed him and is like, come back? You thought you got us. <laughs> <laughs> that or even just an SOS to, to make it seem like we're not like, to seem like like we think he's actually fully gone yeah. and we're just looking for help it, it seemed the guard would be down if he thinks we're helpless mm-hmm. that's really smart and Tim's just kind of like dazedly looking up from his cradle in Oscar's arms whatever you think is Will work. I mean, just get his attention. Oh, how I'm gonna. This hurts too much to be awake. Uh, can I just. Okay, and he like conks back out. <laughs> okay. Os- Oscar, please take care of him. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I got him. And he'll like lift him up and like take him off the ship and like lay him in the grass. The grass? It's again, it's purple. Um, yeah. But just somewhere a little bit softer. <laughs> right. Then. Here's what needs to happen. We need to, like, we need to have a team of people rig the weapons to explode so that way we can kind of trap them here while we get on their ship. Then we need a second team to, like, radio them or something. So, who wants to do what? Who's who's feeling communicative? Who's feeling analytical? I'm I talking to my compass, make a right? Like a crazy SOS. person in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Pyrrhic's the most eloquent, no offense to anyone else. <laughs> ben, yeah, have Ben, ben do your SOS. <laughs> yeah. ben is, and it, ben just goes, Rubble. Yeah, sure. Um, I'll send out the SOS because it'll look more legit if I am as the captain. The captain. Then <laughs> Calvin... And Fyrick, can you two play around with the cannons? Absolutely. Ooh. Yes. And then Oliver and Ben, what would you like to do? I want to give you a job, but <laughs> I, I want to make sure something fits into your skill set. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm talking to my compass and I was just like, all right, I've, I have a way to get some damn peace and quiet. But if I have to use it for this, we can do it like this. I can, um, it's supposed to be to help me write, but I can, uh, I can make some, I can make an area silent. No sound. At all. For Ow. an amount of time. And then I just hold up the compass as if that explains it. <laughs> as you hold up the compass, um, the compass oh, is doing something it hasn't like... done before. <laughs> The compass is, it, is it talking? Like I don't know. It I'm is talking. glowing like, blue. <laughs> like... Just a little faint kind of pulsing energy that almost matches the lightning that was in the skull's eyes. 
Just a little okay. hum. I'll be, uh, I'll be the end of the. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, I'm not used to that. Um, I forgot I was doing that. Um, but I'm gonna put it in my pocket. <laughs> and then, uh, and it's like, so I can make it quiet, dead silent, can't, can't hear anything at all. I don't know if that helps in any way, shape, or form, but if it can, <laughs> we could pretend can that, that everyone else discovered. is dead and I'm the only person alive. They, you won't you won't hear anything like rocks shifting a gun cocking someone getting so, murdered nothing yeah are we Please intending stop. to kill them all and then investigate this area because as far as we know the, the, the treasure somewhere around here or are we looking to strand them and leave <gasps> wait as well. Do why we don't, don't i just find find out Calvin say so after oh yeah what's up calvin asking if we were wanting to find the treasure first before this or after is there treasure on the skull or no because they're all on the moon so there's no treasure on the skull yeah, but yeah, didn't per... you say there was it's like, a, like a like a hub yeah, like okay a what if we can't access them without this And by this, do you mean the skull? Yes. Okay, okay. Ooh, that is a good point. Because if we strand them here, then they are here when we're trying to figure out the access point. Mm. But if we kill them all, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh Primitive. I, I, I don't know if this will work, but I could ask which plan will work. Oh, I love that. Yes, go ahead. I don't I don't know if this is how this would work, but I can just go will this work? Ask God which plan to take. Which one hey, are you God. trying to like well, suss out? I mean, I I think I could do each one, but I don't Should know. Should we kill which... them before or after? <laughs> yeah, um would Or should we, get die? Should we get the treasure? I'm, I'm open to suggestions. This plan or after? So I'm yeah. open to suggestions here, so what do you what do you think? Maybe should we execute this plan? Sorry, should we yeah, execute maybe this we, plan? Maybe we don't yeah. kill them? Maybe we're not supposed to? I don't know. Like, I, I'm just saying... Is this a uh, yes or I no just, kind of thing? I mean, if we just say, will killing them work? I mean, can we kill them? <laughs> are they too Are they too much stronger than us? I don't know. Or maybe, um, will, will we be successful? I'm watching this. It leaves... It up to interpretation. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, what are we? Question. What are we? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is like when you have to make like three wishes to a GD, and you're like, yeah, be <laughs> yeah. real careful with your yep. wording. Like, yeah. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll let the wordsmith handle it. <laughs> I'll let the wordsmith handle it. I. I'm not good at words. Um. Okay. Okay. So, we want. All right. All right maybe I should just say, uh, yeah, right. Everything is open ended. Mm. This is, this <laughs> is why I like quiet. Does the compass understand context? Does the compass understand context? Hey God, how should we murder these people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... Perhaps. Will we have the best chance of attaining the treasure if we call them back and murder them all first? Very good, Farrick. Okay. So I look I look at the compass, I concentrate, mm -hmm. and then in a very quiet whisper, anybody that's close that could hear it would would just hear what she said. <laughs> 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 I'm not proud. I'm not proud of that. The Judy isn't proud of that. No, that's so <laughs> objectively funny. Thank you for that. So good. So good. It's gonna be the hardest thing laugh. I'm so mad at that. I was just like, uh, so dumb. But this is this is how this will play out. This is how this is gonna go. No, it's so good. Uh, it's perfect. It's on point for Oliver. Oh my god. <laughs> Go ahead and make your roll. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Uh, what I she said. It. Uh, hey, it worked. <laughs> All right. 
and I just nod. <laughs> it's just like, um, ooh. <laughs> it's just... It is a little bit tough because your commune, your divination, mm-hmm. is with your story. The story is always going to put what would be the most interesting first. In this That's case, fair. yes. The, you get the feeling that mm. they would interfere. The other crew, the rival crew, would interfere if you were going to go for the treasure before confronting them. Either way, mm. the story has determined that you will have a confrontation with this crew. It's just a matter of where it is set within the timeline. That makes sense. Mm. Player me is so excited. I love pirate confrontation. <laughs> I love this. The player, but the Ariel's like, oh, maybe we should like, I don't know, put it off until as like late as possible. They're, they they make such interesting backdrops because it's either at the the wreckage of a pirate ship and the burning in the background and their ship that we will be freshly plundering and and ours or in the treasure vault us standing and fighting on treasure i don't exactly know yet but which what would narratively be the coolest not what actually will save y'all skin what will Mm. look cool (laughs) Mm, yeah it's during decision, during Oliver. this whole during this <laughs> yeah. whole conversation, because Ben is yeah. absolutely not involved in Ben's like, killed them all already. Things. This is already <laughs> yeah, yeah, this shit is just burning. Um, yeah. Ben has them with uh, our shit. has taken the like um, the energy crystal thing out of mm-hmm. the uh, out of the gun um and has uh, kind of like his arm is made of like roots and stuff. Yeah. so it's kind of unwinding itself. And then wrapping around the uh, the crystal and kind of pulling it in, and so now there's just Ooh. this like pulsing green light going up and down his arm. Um, also, Rosie, I have a question. Of course. Um, with the uh, the level up thing, the gain experience, um, were we supposed to roll the uh, for uh, the treasure stuff at the end? Not yet, because you haven't okay. run into cool, any cool. treasure. <laughs> I wasn't sure. You will eventually, maybe. I'm not going to tell you story. All good. But <laughs> what? What if we did a vote? What if we did a vote for sooner or later? How does that sound? A nice egalitarian way to go about it. Yes. All right. Okay. So put your hands in the air. So should we deal with? No, not right now. Not right now, darling. Not right now. Okay. Mm. And I, I look at Ben, just kind of straight in the face. Okay, so I'm going to ask a question, and the question is going to be, do we want to fight them sooner or later? And I want you to think about it, and when I ask, do you want to do it sooner or later, you'll put your hand up, okay? He nods, <laughs> and looks like he absolutely understands what you're saying. <laughs> Babe, it's such a shame there's not a deception roll in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ariel's like, okay, 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 you got it. <laughs> Do you remember thumbs up? Do you remember thumbs up? He, he puts up his hands. <laughs> We're so cl- Oh, great. Amazing job. All right. Okay. So, if you, okay, if we think we should deal with them sooner, put your hand up. Ooh. All right. Oh, okay. Are you still right. asking the other question, though? Are you asking? I, yeah, I'm still asking the other question. Everyone deserves right, the right, right to yeah. vote, even if they're going to lose. All of um, <laughs> um, And then I go, okay, hands down. Um, if you would like to fight later, raise your hand. Ben. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Sheila just says, buddy, did you, did, did, do you want to fight now or later? Who is now? Who is later? Don't know if one fights. Remember bad man? Bad man, yeah. short ship? Fight yeah. now or later. He seems to have a real hard time with like the concept of time. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep, yep. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> I'm like, okay. So They're both they're both good, so I want them both. 
Okay. Time is a construct, and so is he. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's you know, the tagline. That's it. Yeah. I'm like, how do I explain? Okay. I'm like, yeah, how explain do I explain time to the rock? <laughs> how do I explain instant or delayed gratification? Um. <laughs> oh, I say punch now or no? Punch now or no? Uh, he he just sort of like pats you on the head oh. uh, and just goes. No punch, you friend. Oh, thank you. It's so nice. What about Batman? Will you put punch Batman? Okay. Now, nah, okay, great. We're gonna do it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. We got there in the end. <laughs> you know, it took a second. <laughs> I was, about to, picture, I was about to draw a picture, yo. I was about to start going that route. The TTRPG. We, we pan back, it's been five hours, there's dying. Yeah, it's been a long time in the game. <laughs> the to like Eric, like, Calvin, so. and Oliver around a campfire. Yeah, I need I need art of just Ariel desperately trying to explain <laughs> the concept of time to Ben. It's just like uh, Char Charlie from It's Always Sunny, like the string <laughs> conspiracy yeah. map. Yeah. But it's just Ariel trying to explain time. time. I was thinking yeah. Chidi from The Good Place trying to. Oh, also oh, fantastic <laughs> option. Eleanor. Yeah. Every conspiracy <laughs> exists on a spectrum between Charlie and Chidi. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Gracious. Right. We got to punch now then. All right. Okay, so go about um how are you sending out this SOS? Um Uh I, I go I go to the SOS machine. I, I point to the SOS button. Yeah. <laughs> I think I go to it. <laughs> you go to the um, helm. <laughs> I go to the helm. It's that one. What's it called? Um and I go okay. Um is Oliver like points out the emergency transponder. Okay. <laughs> I go to it. Do you like, is it like a radio? Is it like a keyboard? It is a, um, it's a small section of like the main helm uh, infrastructure. It okay. is a button that turns it on like a switch and okay. then a dial to hone in the frequency. Okay. So I switch it on and I, to the, how do I know when it's like hit a signal? Um, it will do that sort of like radio thing where it goes, and then it'll go um, silent when you've hit a channel that actually can broadcast. Great. I do that until that happens. Okay, make a <laughs> presence roll. <laughs> the one thing I'm bad at. <laughs> You're a computer. I feel so bad. I wasn't built to know things. I was built to like be a companion. <laughs> And unfortunately, this is a really, like, tech-heavy <laughs> storyline. You know what? Calvin, do you want to do this? <laughs> Calvin! Calvin. You are a captain. You can direct me as Calvin. you wish. I don't know how this works. Calvin, I wasn't built for this. Oh, my goodness. Don't worry. I will support you in this. Can I walk Calvin, go ahead. Make a presence roll to see if you can figure out the transponder. I assume while they're doing that, Pyrrhic is just yeah. trying to rig as many explosives as she can. Amazing. Um, not, not, and I, I think not yeah. just the 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 guns, but also just like anything that seems like it could make that explosion worse. Yeah. Ooh, go ahead and make presence or toughness while uh, me and Calvin work on the transponder. Uh, Calvin, with that twenty-two, amazing roll. Uh, you are absolutely able to like hone it in and you're making very calculated movements on that dial to where you get in precisely the right frequency to have the SOS broadcast channel, or at least a channel that is open for broadcast. Here with a 17. Yeah, you're having a good time. You're finding all sorts of good explosive stuff. <laughs> but yes, Calvin, you are able to hone in on at least an open broadcasting channel. Very simple. SOS. Okay. Hello. Um, we need an SOS. This is Captain <laughs> Avril. I immediately display I, now I, I, a script I, I, on I, I, my I, I, face. Don't use your real name. Don't use your real name. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> <laughs> That's me to assist you, Captain. Okay. Calvin has a teleprompter going. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like okay. Um, the, um what, what does the teleprompter say? <laughs> SOS ship distressed. SOS 
this, I realized you said ship, but I heard hip distressed. And I also, also are broken. The geatrics are down. Yeah. Um, S O S ship distressed. S O S. Thank you. <laughs> Is that right? The thank you was an add on, but okay. But it, it wasn't fine. It didn't ruin it. No. Okay. It is your flavor. Oh, th thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess we just have to wait. And wait, you do, as Pyrrhic puts together various explosives. <laughs> uh, go ahead and just roll a straight d4 for me, please, Wraith. lost my mouse and I can't see anything with this mouse. Would you like me to roll it for you? <laughs> nah, I got it. Okay. Three. Oh, excellent. You were able to craft three perfectly designed <gasps> explosives to do whatever you wish, whether nice. they're timed or whatever. You are able to scavenge enough bits and bobs, um, probably from the three remaining ca uh, cannons, um, the one having gone to Ben, the three that are still left on the ship. You're able to rig them up to do whatever it is you wish them to do. <laughs> I assume we're vacating the ship now that we've sent that SOS so that they infiltrate it and we're not there. So if we do that, I would like it to be motion. Beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> I, I, I thought of one thing. I, I, I think of what might make this more or less interesting. And I just look up to the sky and then I ask my compass... Did anybody else hear that SOS? <gasps> please. Please make that if roll. If it's just going out, did anybody else hear this uh, SOS? Just have like a random ship coming in to help us. That's kind of why I'm like motion detector. Well, we can like... stop them before they get on the ship if we're like, oh, that's not yeah, the one we yeah. want to kill. Listen, funny story. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. As your compass, has that roll you... ever come up? Nay, it has like twice. Yes, okay, one, one time. Okay, oh, well, never mind. Twice. Yes, Oliver. As you're consulting and you get back a definitive yes, someone else other than the intended recipient heard that signal. You all hear, since you're off the ship now, you hear a rustling in the nearby foliage, and then you hear, "Is anyone there?" Hello? Is anyone there? It's another fucking robot. <laughs> <laughs> robot club. <laughs> um, ben, ben just again raises his hand. And this is behind us, right? It is in the foliage, away oh, from the, the ship. Foliage. see you um go ahead who have just all of you um if you want to try to like discern where this voice is coming from make a presence roll it's a dirty little one a filthy one. Oh, period not 20 <laughs> calvin with a I'm high no roll negative. oh i'm no longer yep, negative, now oliver so is it? too focused it's a two oliver <laughs> there we go all right Ben, did you want to roll? Oh no. Right. Ben, do you want to roll oh. for this? For presents? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Good so, good. Roll that 20. Yeah. <laughs> so Pyrrhic sees it first, a little glint in the foliage. Uh, there is a robot back there, very old, very damaged. It isn't approaching you. It doesn't seem capable. You can't pr figure out if it's a uh, malfunction or if it's like just bound by roots and vines. You're certainly welcome to get closer if you want. Um, I'll, I'll get closer and see if yeah. it's because if it's trapped we can we can free it and maybe it can help us out. Hello? Who's there? We were led here. 
were you, were you left here? Yes. Intentionally? I hope not, but it seems intentional after 972 years. She just looks, looks back at Ariel and Kevin. Does that timeline match up with with the journals? I believe so. Like immediately pulling up the uh, logs as I'm approaching uh, this uh, robotic entity. And as you approach, you do notice, now that you're closer, both um, Pyrrhic and Calvin, the robot is like more or less lashed to this tree um, with vines, with growth. It has this sort of hollow where the neck and head come out and roots have sprouted from that hollow through its joints. It has just been overgrown. You notice that it has a visor that has been cracked and there are little sparks um, escaping it, very similar to the very skull it finds itself on. But it's kind of moving its head in a back and forth motion, trying to pinpoint where you are. And it hasn't been able to do so yet. It knows that you're around. It felt the crash. And now it hears you. But it can't quite lock on to where you are as you approach. I think Ben sees the, like, this figure who is seems to be made of, like, metal and roots and vines as far as yeah. he's concerned. Uh, it's like, that is the same as me. Um, and he's just going to try, like, immediately walk over and is going to try and get this thing out. Oh, um, go ahead and make a strength check. Fifteen. Excellent. You're able to wrest them from this tree with a snapping of twigs and roots and more or less get the majority of their body, a few little nuts and bolts, uh, just through time and rust. Uh, fall off, but you are able to lift them up and away from the tree. Oh, uh, oh. Am I being taken somewhere? Uh, ben is just kind of like holding him in one. It's like a small robot. That's human size, so maybe like five okay. or six. Okay. Uh, so Ben just kind of like holds him and like walks him over to the rest and sets him down Aww. and then just kind of <laughs> pats him on the head uh, and then sits down. The robot goes, is like starting Friends. to move his head around. Who are you? I am Ken. Cognizant automaton navigation. Uh, ben gets very excited <laughs> uh, and just goes, Ben! <laughs> Ben, what does that stand for? Ben. <laughs> That's the cutest thing. I love Ben so much. He's <laughs> a baby. <laughs> My son. <laughs> Ken is looking, is trying to look around and like surmise how many are around you. Um, is there a way to like? for robots to mind link with other robots. Yeah, I was tempting to see if I could interface with them. Yeah, yeah um, go ahead. See if you can interface. This is an old piece of tech. Both of you go ahead. Roll either spirit or presence. Okay. Ooh, Ooh that's good. Yeah. I got a 22. Excellent. Calvin got a 10. Okay, Calvin, this is a little bit too old. It is outside of your wheelhouse as far as how to interface with technology that is nearly a millennia old. Um, Ariel, I would say in your research, and even within having the Jeff Rock DSD information, there are mentions of CAN within mm -hmm. uh, the diaries, within the logs. Um, this was their navigator throughout many, many adventures. Um, mm. You are able to discern the right sort of port that you could interface. It's on Can's shoulder. There's like a little, there's a few like, almost as if you were looking at the back of TV where all like the cable ports are. <laughs> there's there's a, the little red, yellow, white, and then uh, an HDMI cable. But yeah, there is a port there that you are able to figure out how to sort of splice a connection to. I think 
this is like the most android thing Ariel has ever done. There's like an expector gadget moment where like the tip of its forefinger becomes like a USB drive and she just like sticks it into the shoulder. Wow. Hey. <laughs> what happened? What did you just do? Oh, I'm I'm trying to interface with you. Okay. What is your name? I'm Ariel. Ariel. What does that stand for? It used to mean something. Now it's just Ariel. Okay. Should I trust you? I mean... Ariel's like, do I even trust myself? Um, Yeah, you can trust me. You feel a little bit of like a firewall blocking your access. <laughs> oh, I should turn off the voice mod. You feel like <laughs> I can keep it on, Rosie. I love that was, it. it. That was in character. <laughs> that was great. My firewalls have engaged. Uh, no, it's. <laughs> you do this feel is a, a way bit of spicier like... situation. Yeah. You feel a little bit of resistance as Can has a very specific set of protocols. Um, she is only meant to be accessed by this captain. And you are not her captain. Ah. Uh, that makes could, sense. High concept. I, I have an idea involving me and Calvin. Could we... This is like my tech brain kicking in. Could we override one of our systems with all of the knowledge that we know about this previous captain for... It'd be like, a, like spoofing an IP address. Could we spoof our IP You're address? You're trying to make yourselves be the captain. <laughs> yeah, that might be more successful on Calvin's front. Ooh. But can we spoof our IP? <laughs> you know that the it's captain brilliant. was organic, so okay. trying to be like, yeah, I'm totally the captain, I'm just a robot now, might not work. <laughs> um... You can try to, like, delve up details to gain Can's trust. Okay. Um, I... Finger still in shoulder. Um, I look around and go, well, um, the firewall is up. Um, yes. does anyone... Does anyone want, want, want to try talking? Good. Anyone want? What is your directive? Um... My directive is to be a captain right now, apparently. Captain? Yes? Do you know Captain Flynn? Yes, definitely. Mm, spirit <laughs> roll. <laughs> yes, I definitely know. Captain Flint. Make it an advantage because you do have intimate deep. Gosh darn it, I'm so <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, no, you. I kind so of good. Love it. It's so hard to remember to flip back and forth. Um, You have intimate details about Captain Flint's life. Go ahead and make that uh, spirit roll at advantage. Uh, This was a mistake. (laughs) No, it's not a mistake. It's a blessing and a gift. I crit. I crit. Ooh. That's a 23. Excellent. Um, You flood Can with a bunch of details about Captain Flint very intimate, very personal details. Only things that the captain would know, obviously. Because I read his diary. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you are friends with Captain Flint? Yes, yes. How is he doing? <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen him. That is Thank you, Terry. He keeps to himself for the most part. It has been some time since I've seen him, though. What is your directive? <laughs> um, I guess it's to find. We're here to learn. We want to learn everything. And I'm crouching in front of him. It's just like, I want to hear your story. I want to know what you know. Can you tell us? Who is this? This is, this is Oliver Naxton. That is a very long designation. What does it stand for? <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Now tell me. Ah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you guys, I've been sitting on that. I've been sitting on that this whole time, man. I've been sitting on that for so long. Uh, That's so good. 
That is hilarious, my gosh. That's so freaking Continue. funny. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I just told him to tell me what he knows. <laughs> told him that Oliver Naxon stands for genius. Uh, so there we go. Uh, and I would just see what. Um, once again, notes. I'm I'm just flooding information. Uh, the present danger is probably like losing on the fact that I'm learning more information than I could use in my story right now. So somebody might need to be more aware of that. I just go. Ooh, another piece of source material. Like, that's all I'm like, ooh, I can get more content fodder. That is very broad. Do you have something more specific you would like to know, Oliver Naxton? Hmm. Okay. Have you seen anybody else come by here before us? When's the last time you've interacted with anybody? 972 years. <laughs> oh, full blown. Nobody's since. Oh, I thought that was just uh, Flint. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm looking at everybody else, like crouching on the ground, like, what do we, what do we, we just, what's, can what's you, more pertinent right now? Can you tell us the story of how he hid his treasure here? Yes. That. What she said. <laughs> Are you looking for the treasure, or do you only want the story? A little column A, a little column B. Just, what's the difference? Just one one answer. Help us with the other. You like, would like to know how he did it. How he did it, and... They will start going off on just... They were... the, the Despite being broken down, despite being rusted and old just words so fast faster than anyone but the two computers can understand um detailing pretty much exactly what's in the logs just from a more like sterile and logical viewpoint than like the flourishy writings of captain flint um you get that all these moons were constructed specifically as treasure hordes that all the treasure is within them they are not actual moons they are effectively giant chests uh, the only way to access them is from the skull, which Can played a key role in that access point procedure. Can was one of the only ones entrusted with those details. Are you looking to access the treasure? Affirmative. Excellent. Do you have the lodestone? We have we made copies. We made copies of the key just in case. Uh, They're gonna like cock their head a little bit in confusion. It was stolen. Copies. Stolen. Then you do not have access to the treasure if you do not have the lodestone. Who has the lodestone has the treasure. I do not understand. Okay. So we do so we do need to lure them here and kill them then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will say, Calvin, because you <laughs> were the initial one that had the copy of Jeff Rock DSD, um, within the cartographic data that was therein, along with the logs, there was a set of files, 20 of them, in fact, that eluded you as far as what their usage was. This feels like it might be the time to figure out what those might be about. Wait, is Calvin the new lodestone? <laughs> Both Calvin and Ariel contain within them copies of it. Calvin might be able to unzip assumed, these files. Yeah. I might not be able to. <laughs> I just assumed they would punch the keyhole and they would that, they would work. I will come over to Ken. Um, I didn't get to uh, name myself. I am Calvin Watts. I can Calvin also Watts. use Facebook. Do you have the lodestone? And they will hold out their hand, almost like expecting something, but still kind of looking around blindly. I no longer Shake contain their the hand. <laughs> but here, and then I like put my hand in their hand. And there is an instantaneous like grip, not painful. I mean, I don't know how Calvin interprets pain, but it is a locking 
to your mechanism between this handshake and an exchange of data and sparks and this sort of rush of a feeling goes over you as can reads those files off of your mind it feels different than i remember the shape is different but this is the correct data for the lodestone follow me and can just starts walking off in a very pointed direction into the woods and that is where we are going to take our break (laughs) get back to our story as our crew is in their own search for treasure let me get back to where I need to be. There we go. So, you all find yourselves on this planet of a skull. Lavender foliage, dusky gray, bark and lichens, and just very alien feel to it. And you're heading deep into this dense jungle, led by the blind. The blind leading the blind. Um, Can, who does not have optic sensors, has started heading in a very distinct direction, almost marching, very straightforward, one path. You could actually see in the ground, there is an old, long overgrown, but definite groove between the trees. And that is the path that Ken is following. Anything mm. you would all... What is the marching order? Who is following directly behind Ken and then the line all the way through to the back? Oh, I... No, I need to think. <laughs> I almost want to roll to see if I can handle the terrain. Like I like, <laughs> make a toughness roll, Oliver. You I, have breathed it into existence. I don't, I don't know if this is. I don't know if it's a choice other than like uh, this is what he can handle being. If he's like, oh no, he's good. He would be up front. Uh, otherwise, it'd be like, oh, he's in the back because he is struggling. Um, mm-hmm. so let's just see. Oh, it's now no longer, it's now plus one. So I got lucky. Everything was like on the, the precipice of going up anyway. So with the level up, yeah, I'm excited for this story. Adventure awaits. I, <laughs> I, I rolled a 19. Oh, Excellent. yay. And I totally missed that because Alchemy decided to crash right when you rolled. <laughs> I had oh, closed Alchemy. it and opened it up just now again because it uh, was uh, it, it feels go. better a now. Nineteen, amazing! This Oliver's having a good day parkour wise. You're leaping over little roots and bits of underbrush. Yeah. You're not having difficulty. I'm gonna is... I'm gonna feel it later. I'm gonna feel yeah, it later. Yeah, absolutely. You're gonna have a little bit of like soreness in your quads, but for now, you are driven by your story. You know you are heading towards something amazing to a pinnacle to the culmination of decades of logging and taking notes and paying attention to every single detail it is all coming to a head now and you are on the right path you feel it in your soul after oliver who else is in this marching order who's after oliver i think ben is uh probably relatively close to the front Mm-hmm. Um, just like in case anything were to to jump out or anything like that. Um, Ooh. but also he's very uh, he's very interested in this little robot creature. That's um, covered in just vines. kind of like yeah, it's just kind of like following around, uh, following along. You sound very large, Ben. Big. <laughs> You not it. No, I am not. You must have a peculiar designation in order to be built so large. Ben like pause just stops walking. Like oh. fully <laughs> no, fully no. doesn't continue moving <laughs> forward and just goes What what that mean? Well you must have had a purpose to be built so large. I'm curious what it might be. Uh, Ben sort of like pauses for a second and he goes, Weapon. Ah, that would track. Offensive capabilities. Interesting. And Ken will continue on. Ben, Ariel's gonna ben, check in. <laughs> ben drops two people back in the marching order. <laughs> oh, Ariel, Ariel's gonna check in. Ariel's gonna check in. 
I feel so bad. Okay. I was ready to say sit down. If if time took an hour, I was like, purpose is going to take a real long time. <laughs> no, I was ready to hunker been, down. He's been told what his purpose is a lot. Nobody's no! ever explained time. <sighs> okay. Damn, that's... Wow. Yeah. Do you think Ariel eavesdrops a little bit and hears this and goes, I'm going to step in and just kind of like he's next to Ben if Ben wants to talk or just have a friend nearby. But I think Ariel is relatively silent and is kind of combing through the information in the diary. Hmm. <laughs> and you are able to, as you're combing through, you don't even need to roll for this. There is much talk about this path. You know exactly where you're heading. You're heading to that access point, how you will access all of the vaults, all of the hordes. Can has walked this path dozens, if not hundreds of times, and as had Captain Flint. Someone had to bring the treasure in is there anything talking about this robot in the files at all specifically very much so um throughout the files can was an, was initially built specifically for this purpose as a conduit as a key almost um and as their helmsman when they were off navigating mm -hmm. the planets and stars in search of treasure as the diaries and logs go on, it takes on almost an endearing tone, almost a familiar and friendly tone, in that the captain became incredibly fond of Can as a confidant and as a friend in a line of work where those are few and far between. Yeah. I think kind of reading that, Ariel gets a great sense of like empathy towards this mm -hmm. robot and is like, we might be cut from the same cloth. Yeah, it's it's just your great 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 grandma. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But I'm storing this to talk <laughs> to this robot after we get off of this godforsaken skull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is Pyrrhic doing in the marching order? I think Pyrrhic is dead last, just kind of leisurely strolling behind everyone. More so, just kind of keeping an eye on their surroundings. Because a, a path is useful, but if they have to hop off the path, it's good to know where to go. Excellent. Make a presence roll, please. And I would say Oscar carrying Tim is going to be in that sort of back of the pack with you. Just because we don't want to lose sight of our uh, of our cook and local <laughs> betrayer. <laughs> our child. <laughs> Seven. All right. Um, even for you, who is pretty well traveled, this foliage is completely unfamiliar to you. It almost feels a little bit primordial. Um, it feels very alien and almost not that plants can talk, but you know how when you're like out in the woods and there's like a certain energy about. There's an absence of that here. It feels dead. It feels too quiet and you're not sure if that means danger or just different hmm. all in all there's probably a path for a reason whether for convenience or safety you are unable to determine in this moment mm -hmm. fair enough <sighs> what you doing Oliver I think I am taking notes. Well, it's, it's always taking notes. Um, and if is, is can like chatty volunteering anything or just silently marching along? Like, or, like Ooh. I would be probing them when they're not actively otherwise engaged. Yeah. Can will not talk of her, their own accord. It is only when prompted. Uh, as long as it does not halt everything. If I ask them a question and it's like, stop, because they're going to answer encyclopedia, like a wiki reverence. Oh, no, they can I walk would, and talk. <laughs> uh, then I would I would just be, um, uh, you know, asking them, uh, it's just like, so uh, did anything interesting happen in, throughout the 900 years? Or uh, uh, do you have any uh, stories that, uh, that you... <laughs> I guess I would be good. Are there any ones that maybe that are more embarrassing for the Captain Flynn? Uh, anything maybe that he, he probably <laughs> wouldn't want you 
to put out there as much. Uh, and I'm just like anything that would be interesting, I would, I would, I would ask. So anything happened within the past nine years and embarrassing stories. Those are the two things that, that he thinks of during this mini journey. I'm trying to boil it down to the two top things that he would ask. It has been an uneventful 972 years. Occasionally, a animal or alien of sorts, nothing sentient, nothing worth conversation at least, has popped by in 972 years. As for embarrassing stories, why would I want to embarrass my friend? Oh, I'm not saying to embarrass him, just did anything embarrassing happen? Ah, this is a factual inquiry. Yes, complete. This is a fact-finding journey. This is all research. <laughs> this is not. Uh, this is not. This is not to embarrass anybody. I have. I have standards. And Can will launch into a tale of the captain's early escapades, as far as the initial flubs and flum like fumbles of not knowing how to pirate right, uh, not having the confidence to just walk up and take what he wanted. Uh, there's a lot of, oh, we'll just leave sorts of instances um, where they were either outmaneuvered or outconfidenced or, come on, kid, what are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> sorts of things. Yeah. Um, several romantically embarrassing stories. And just, Can is going on, like giving everything because you have asked for facts. Yeah. <laughs> and and they're going faced. to give every I'm stone instance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even if it's like real raunchy or just real whatever, I'm like just yeah. like taking it in like, I'm I'm a reporter interviewing a witness to things. This is just object like you know I trip on a root at one point maybe, <laughs> but like I'm still like mm -hmm, yeah. Root. Can will pause all, after all a particularly plate. raunchy story, mm -hmm. and go. I believe that is all 168 instances of embarrassment on Captain Flint's behalf. Is this I sufficient, about... Oliver Naxton? I got about 43 of them down like solid. I might come back. We might circle back for, for that one pig story. But um, yeah, uh, thank you. I appreciate this. Uh, this of is course. Gonna, yeah. Let me know if I can be of any further assistance. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to back up to, uh, to, uh, to Calvin and area. and just like, just, just making sure it, I'm not saying Hopefully, out of earshot of of Cam, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna back up just enough. It was like, um, I'm not saying we. I don't know what's gonna happen. He looks pretty rough. Um, but in case he um gets destroyed or something, is there a way to like also back him up? I don't know because this has a personality. So I know Jeff I, Rock, is, I Jeff have Rock, a question. A little thing. I, mean, <laughs> I have just, a question for you, Junie. Uh huh. Is it okay if Ariel gets a little violent with you? 1000%, that's fine. He is Ariel slams yeah. you to the ground, puts one of their laser pistols against your throat and goes, we are taking this robot back with us. Everyone I... is leaving here. There are no copies being made. Okay, well, I'm just <laughs> saying, um, I'm surprised he could move with those, with the like that poison ivy kind of growing out of his arm. I'm just then saying- we'll fix him. Okay, all right. I'm just, it was just, just throwing it out there. So he doesn't have to ever die. They can always live on if they had a backup. I'm not suggesting we abandon them or I was, it was just a, and, and it's one of those, you can see the hunger, the hunger for the information in his eyes. Yeah. He doesn't want to lose the information. Uh -huh. He doesn't, you know what I mean? But he's, he's hit, he's, but he's not saying like, let's do the easy route. He's not, he's not inhumane, <laughs> but he is. He is more focused. He does. He's not hiding. I'm not hiding my motivation here. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and he's just like, it's just like, hey, hey, I, hey, I understand. I'm just, just saying. Yeah, Calvin will look to Ariel. <laughs> if there is an instance of which Ken's damaged, I can eject from my body. We can put Ken in my body. Well, then, where are you going to go, Calvin? Yeah, I don't want to put you out. I'm um, just, I you just, know, I don't know. The plates on my chest open up and you just see the little swirling ball. I will be fine. You will find me a new functioning body or find Ken a body they prefer. Like, if Ken is just like, Ken is just in his head, like, we could just take Ken's head and get them a new body <laughs> later. I don't know. I don't know enough. 
I <laughs> word. Robot. I word. I don't know how to robot. I know how to word. <laughs> okay. So, so well, I, I, this no is head is being removed from I'm, the body. I'm completely, I will understand. I'm ignorant on this subject. So. <laughs> I can confirm my core processors are in my cranial cavity, though my Thank optic you. Okay. sensors have been malfunctioned for quite some time. I have a point to like the cracked visor sort yeah. of situation. <laughs> yeah. Ah, dang it! <laughs> no, keep it. It's perfect. It's it. perfect. It's it. perfect. Because he can't see, so he's like, I'm pointing to my cracked visor in case that's not what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm pointing to where my ocular sensors once were to indicate that they are in fact broken. Yeah. <laughs> we. I understand the human nature to fatalize. But there will be no fatalizing today. Is that clear? Uh, yeah, yeah. I want you to say I I Captain. Is that I, clear? I, I, I no Captain. fatalizing except for the crew that you are inevitably blowing up. Yes, except yes. for them. <laughs> They're dying. We're they not. clearly don't count. Yeah. <laughs> They're not I, people. Yep. I, I, with Captain. lives and backstories. Yep. Okay. Tim Great. Tim is on on the edge did, there. Tim's on did, did you did you like did you like like jump on to me to like pin me down? Oh, like or did you like just push me down from above? Push down from above. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Uh but before you go away, I would kind of like like yeah. get your pant like, like like hold on and be like I knew I made a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew I knew you'd make a good captain. Ar- Ariel's like stop it, stop it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, Captain. I, I'm just, but now it's annoying. <laughs> I, I, Captain. You did bring this on yourself. Um, as, as we all, like, uh, like, everybody gets up, we start walking. Uh, Ben just kind of, like, stands in front of Oliver for a second and just goes, Vine's cool. <laughs> and then just kind of, like, shoulder checks past him and just walks back with everybody I, else. I, I, I'm gonna make. Uh, I, do I make a tough or or? A yeah, um, I think not... we have to because yeah. that was really intentional. I would love contested toughness rolls. Yes. Um, uh, ben's uh, strength to Oliver's yeah. toughness. That's yeah. fair. Uh, I've been I've been doing. Oh, good. bud. Okay. It's a real low strength check for me. Uh, but he but got a, a four. It's a four. It's yeah. a four. I didn't even fully get up. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even fully drop off the ground before it's like, you gotta, like <laughs> shove him not hard not enough to hurt him but just enough to make yeah, a yeah. point yeah yeah, I yeah. Can't no, just, wait. So that, just so that he does the like looney tunes spin around where his yeah. head stays put in the air yeah. uh, but when i get up uh i'm i'm getting up i'm like you know i don't know i don't know why i figured i bit my lip like I'm, it's so it's so dumb that i would get battle damage from just being like casually but but i imagine yeah. it's just like now this is how you write a story <laughs> I can't wait to know what Oliver's perception of this entire interaction is. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's, oh, on, yeah. he's the hero of his own story, obviously. Oh no, no, I'm an nope. observer. No, I'm an observer. <laughs> he's watching. Yeah, I'm not. I'm oh, not even here. Gosh. So is Nick Carraway in The Great Gatsby yet? <laughs> <laughs> um, Calvin, what have you been up to as all of this has transpired? I know you had the little interjection about offering uh, a space for can if the need arise yes so i've just been mentally uh i've running my treasure hunter dot exe for ramming in the body um <laughs> oh, aka my new feature um, <laughs> just mapping out the area understanding that since it's been so long uh some information will be dated from uh the current files so i'm just uh, mapping any new uh landmarks, um, any potential dangers, um, and then just the core of Calvin internally, the little uh, energy ball. Uh, it's just reminiscing of their time being stuck alone on a planet for hundreds of years. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> no, oh, no. <laughs> We're all sad. Oh, Everyone no. loves Can for different reasons, and it's so <laughs> depressing. <laughs> Derek, what about you? What's your <laughs> drama yeah. about? Oh, it's your tragedy. <laughs> oh, you guys don't, you guys haven't even heard about that. Oh, oh my god. god. It pertains to the item she got. 
they only had two arms at one point. At one point, they only had two arms. And at one point, they might have had ten. Maybe they lost them. Oh no! Oh no! All no. I'm saying is her her item that she that she has from the book is letter from a loved one. No! Y'all made Take the that goofiest, as saddest crew. I swear. At the I end. love that we're all on the same page about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's we're because when you be look so incredibly ridiculous, but so sad. Yeah, I was gonna say mine's yeah. the dumbest. Like I just, I just walked away. <laughs> My story is I walked away <laughs> from everything. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. Oh my god. It is about at this point, just because we need to move forward. <laughs> Are you sure, Rosie? <laughs> that um can stops. In, in their tracks, and you are now in front of a cliff face. It is this dark, not quite obsidian. Obsidian isn't the right word, like a charcoal gray, just mm. slab in front of you with a column that's kind of cut at a 45 degree angle at about chest height. And Can goes to put their hand on it. It's long overgrown. They brush aside um, the vines, like sort of feeling around until they have a smooth surface put their hand on. Please indicate which moon you would like to visit. Like, which one has the most treasure? <laughs> that would be Selene Octa. What do the other ones have? Is there one like that's like a, a gun planet? Like a gun moon? Like is there a... Like containing ship parts? Yeah, is there like one that's like a... Like a dock, like a garage, like a docking bay where just the treasure is a bunch of ships. Like what? Calibrating. And you'll see um, sparks kind of engaging within Can's skull. A um, little bit of movement in their head as they have their hand placed on this platform, which now itself is glowing blue. Um, there are several weapons caches throughout the many moons. There is one moon that has a ship, though it is quite old. Hmm. The weapons would probably also be quite ancient. Yeah. Which could well, be good or bad. Either either they're very useless, or they don't have defenses against them because they're so old. Or we could sell them, but you're also right. It, if we go to one of the moons, could we, like, lock the door behind us so nobody can just follow us even if they had a key which they don't but if they did like could we just go and be completely safe and inaccessible and just be fine you would be i would be left behind oh i don't like leaving can behind i really don't me neither yeah mm. my function is to keep the door open but somebody's trying to kill us. So take, take the treasure and Well then we have to kill them before they take it. Hmm. Do we do we just Well, okay. Do we just stay here and wait for them to come to this pillar? Do we go back to our ship? Like what do we you know, I can make well, it quiet. I, That's my one thing I could do right now. I can make it real quiet. Door that I should wait for. No. Wait. Bad Maybe man. We... Yes, but they would wait. Fo- mm, they would wait, follow wait, 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 wait. Right into right into the situation. Wait. Is is there one of these moons that's emptier than the rest? Calibrating. And that the one does not have a ship. The most empty, as it is the newest. It does not have a ship on it. It does not have a ship. It has the lowest amount of treasure. Cloth would be a better word. Treasure is subjective. What if... What if we lure them there and trap them there? Oh, yeah. 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 I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. Ken, are you capable of lying? If you provide the lie, then yes. I have done it before. So then we have can lie to them. Lead them to that moon. And then close the door. 
can I just ask my compass real quick if Cam has lied to me or us uh, since we've done <laughs> Uh, just because, just because now I'm like, wait a second. There's one thing if we tell you to lie, but you could have lied this whole time. Hold on. I'm like, what? <laughs> now, now, mm, questioning my sources. <laughs> mm, it says a yay. So, uh, yeah. I mean, does that has, mean a yeah, he's lied or has, yeah, can he's been honest? You. Um, can has been incredibly forthcoming. That is their nature. Uh, they are built to provide information more so than anything to be a key and to provide information. You almost get the sense that they were a precursor to Jeff Rock the SD. Mm. Okay. So, all right. Does so. Jeff Rock DSD proved to be more portable? Mm. Okay. So at least, at least I know that. Okay. We, we just need to be, we need to choose our words and set up the parameters. Uh, I don't know how does how this how it sets up, but you know they'll never hear us coming, <laughs> and uh, they can uh, we, we can we can do this if if the ship doesn't do it. And we do, what if we go back right now and they're just gone? I mean, technically <laughs> this could have already happened, but. You know, I'm gonna make chaos roll. Hold I was on. gonna say Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, God. Rosie. <laughs> Yo, if I just said, "Are they dead right now?" and my compass said yes, what would we do? Like, oh well, let's go. <laughs> I had set the DC as a typical twelve uh, for Pirate Borg. I got a fifteen. Um, it is as you are saying. You know, what if they're gone? What if like we've already killed them? That you hear an immense three series explosion just. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel the vibrations <laughs> coursing through the skull. <laughs> it is Are unusual they're... because you're normal. You've felt earthquakes before. Yeah. Um, earthquakes happen in Earth. This is not Earth. It is bone, and it sets your teeth on edge. It is so mm. unsettling. Mm -hmm. It is unpleasant. But you figure your explosives were effective. <laughs> We've well, either made the situation very good or very bad for us. <laughs> Either they're here, or we have just created casualties. Yeah, that was... Uh, look, look, guys, I, I know I'm pretty fast and loose with these questions. I got two more, technically. So, uh, like... I, I, mean, I can I talk to God. Like, I got two more. Is that, like, is that cool? <laughs> I got two more questions I gotta ask God, y'all. <laughs> I got two more God questions, so I'm just, just throwing it out there. Do you... Should I just... Are we going back, or am I just asking if they're dead and we just progress? Like, what are we... What are we doing? We here? could ask which was which will be more successful. I need a yes or no question. We could just ask is if it, they're dead. Is or is it wise to shove them through this portal? Okay. Alright. Um Did Alright, I'm gonna go to the compass and I'll be like, alright. Which is like vibrating right now as it's as Jesus Christ, has just been doing this the whole time? <laughs> My God. It's kind of your pocket like an ignored phone call, Junie. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um, I'm, I'm almost scared to ask. I don't know if God's angry calling me back right now. I don't, it's, never, it's never been the other way. It just tells me a, a points and I... Oh, Remember, man. you can only uh, answer yes or no. Yeah, oh my, oh no. Are you, I want to go, I want it to be, are you mad at me? But I'm really, really resisting. <laughs> asking if I've done something wrong. Ask it, right. if, ask it if it would still love you if you were a worm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't being, waste your questions. <laughs> being Oliver's oh, distress, Calvin. Kind of Super like, distressed right now. I'm like, oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> reminder, Oliver, the symbols on your compass also match that of Jeff Rock. And? Compass is related to this. Oh, that's right. Hmm. Which then poses an interesting question. If it's related to the skull. Uh. All right. For everybody with a computer brain and or <laughs> is has their mind literally on anything other than a story they've been working on for a decade, what do I do with that? I'm just, I'm not 100%. I just I haven't, I haven't looked at, I haven't spread the notes out on the floor <laughs> to kind of connect the dots and put them on a board with string yet. You know, so I haven't really, <laughs> I haven't really, I've, I have all the notes, but I haven't like, you know, what it means. So, um, 
My intention is to simply do not hear yeah. the vibrations of your compass. Maybe Ken okay. can always clarify later. Okay. All right, yeah. Okay. Now, um, I'm asking if our trap killed the right people, right? Okay. Because uh, <laughs> we've walked for enough time where it'd be like, it would it's take It's been time about like get... 30 minutes to 40 minutes, yeah. So it'd be enough time where we would be wasting effort to go back in it. So, yes. um, yeah, I would I would uh, ask the compass and I'd be like, I hope, I hope you're not mad at me. Um, did our trap take the people that were after us out of commission. Roll it. Right. right. Okay. And let's see. No. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> oh All right. no. It's it's yay, so it would tell me that like, okay. So it, it'll answer it would, you truthfully. You get a negative yeah. feeling. You get an initial, very fleeting sense of like success, and then a oh wait, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, because it could have killed some of them or something like that. But out of commission implies whether or not they're capable of mm -hmm. continuing their pursuit. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, well, we good news is we know it worked and that it went off. Bad news is they're still they're still they're still coming after us and they technically uh they have you know jeff rock dsd and he doesn't react to jeff rock dsd because he doesn't know what the hell jeff rock can doesn't know what jeff rock dsd is so it was a good idea that we gave it a code name yes. <laughs> i don't know i don't know if saying that there's another key would be a good or bad thing so that's why i'm saying i don't want it to i don't know if us revealing that we have a dupe is a good thing oh so that's why gosh. i've been so a pseudonym for for the the key has been really good um but they they have jeff rock dsd and uh uh they're coming this way i don't know what, like what condition they're in but i mean we're all aside from like you know i need my my shoes i didn't wear the right shoes i'm fine uh calvin so. yes <laughs> we did wipe uh jeff rock will not be active, but I do believe Eric's plan may be our best solution. If we leave that gate open, the rest of us will lie and wait until they pass, and then we can lock the gate behind them. I'm, I'm with it. I agree. Yeah. yeah. So, what lie should we have Cam tell them? Should we have Cam close the door and lie and say that the presence of Jeff Rock on their person is enough to open the door and they'll just open the door to whichever moon they listed. Can will you just open the door if we tell you to open the door for someone? Yes. Can we just Why would you not want to go through as well? No, no, we're going to, and I'm going to say the planet that we want to get them stuck at. No, we're going to go to here, but we just need to go, like, uh, we need to collectively all use the bathroom. Uh, and so we're going to be over there. Uh, but if people show up, could you just tell them we're going here that, 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 you know, this is where we want to go and you could just let them go to there? You want me to let them know that you are on Selene event, but you will not be on Selene event. And tell them that the treasure is on that moon. Do not tell them that there's treasure anywhere else. All more, of the treasure more details, they are looking more details for details might be bad. More details, yeah, more details might, might hurt this situation. Just, that's where we want to go. Or that's where we want them to go, really. Like, But we don't want to say that part. And you can, you can see uh, Can sort of like... Glitching? Trying to like glitch yeah. out and like compute this. The script may be required. Oh. Sorry? I believe a script may be required. Would you like me to provide a script, Calvin? Calvin's really good at doing scripts. <laughs> Ariel, <laughs> I, I, I lean in. I lean in. I lean into Calvin. And I'm like, can't, can't see. He can't see anything. I mean, how would you get this like script? An interface they had? The yeah. Okay, of, good. All right. I was about to say, it was just like a minutes. teleprompter. And I'm like, I can't see. And I'm like, oh, this is. <laughs> <messed up." laughs> 
<laughs> this is this is this is us hiding thing. in the bushes doing a they can up. upload <laughs> the script. <laughs> in the yeah. Can the will hold out script. her hand to receive whatever script. Yeah, let's take their hand, and the script will simply be last open door, and then to the planet that doesn't have much treasure on it. Um, number of people walked through our crew number. Um, uh, and then, like, recent time, 10 minutes. Ah. Like, very to the factoid of we went through here, or a group went through here recently. This was the door, and it's been remained open. Excellent. Okay. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Information's good. There we go. Can will count. Seven crew members walked through to Selena Hand in search of treasure 10 minutes ago. If they ask any other questions, just repeat that line. I can do that. That is a simple action. Oh! <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Who is this strange new character? Yeah. <laughs> interfacing with Calvin oh, updated in their voice line. It broke! It broke! It broke. It interfacing oh, with Calvin. Oh, oh. There's been like everybody, a, a, a... Everybody a, meet a, Kendra. Update. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> this was this was like a firmware update through osmosis interfacing yeah. with, yeah. with Calvin. Alien's and goal is to radicalize I'm now Cortana. Man. Hi. Yeah. 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 Calvin one time and immediately installed 200 Yo. years of yeah. update. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Adding the voice mod is such a mistake, but I really no. But it was so it cool. Out. It was so yeah. cool when it, it happened. So I can do that. <laughs> There's a laugh. Do I trust the laugh? <laughs> yeah. I I do I do want to ask Ken a really quick question. Apologies, my vocal processor is malfunctioned for a moment. You're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> Thank um, you. My I kind of lean in and go, why did Captain Flint leave you here? I am unsure. All I know is that I was left after the last horde was put on Southern event. He never came back, nor did any crew. He did not give a reason. I was told to wait. I look at Ben, I'm like, Ben, you have a sibling now. <laughs> ben just sort of nods uh, and clearly takes this task very seriously. <laughs> Amazing. So are you all like hiding in the nearby brush? How is Ben going to hide? He will blend in. Ben literally <laughs> just sits down and you lose track of him. <laughs> we can we hide, hide we Ben. Have, uh, oh, we all hide we can behind him. Yeah. That's, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, we all have a little bit of the local light like can shut up. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You, said, you said it's like a rocky, like. Uh, yeah, you're outcry, up right? against a cliff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Whether or not you match up that and rock. He kind of like stands there and everybody like <laughs> hides behind him. That's I could, I could make not... it that everything within 25 feet of me is ultra dead silent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can do that. You That's... know, that might help. It, like it I said before, the planet itself is like it feels dead. So if you all can like hush your breathing and like yeah, even would... something like nothing. your capacitors, like so. Yes. Makes it nothing. Breathing. The thing yeah. that I totally do. That's why I added capacitors. <laughs> yeah. So it would be dead silent. Just nothing no rustling is there air is there breeze is there like rustling of trees like no is there any of that yeah so like no you can't hear us or any shuffling or moving it's me anything around me so as we move nothing and if there's any sort of lasers or gunfire or harpoons being thrown there's no sounds <laughs> if we need to this might just All be right. going through a door and us watching that happen and then nothing <laughs> happens but mm -hmm. If somebody has to pick up a tree and swing it, there's no sound. <laughs> there's no yeah. sound of that. Yeah. I sense two individuals approaching. Would you like me to engage in the lie? Oh. All right. I love the enthusiasm. Hold on a second. Oh. Uh, Standing by. All right. We move. We do. Are we doing this? We yes. Let's run go. In. Let's go. Let's go. We don't want to be okay. seen. Okay. Yes. Hide. Okay. So Ben is acting as like an overhang, mm -hmm. and yeah. Oliver is enacting silence. 
Uh, I'm rolling for silence now. Uh, it, it goes for. It has a time limit. Uh, let's see. Uh, Fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. It's, it's two D. Hold on, let me read it. Uh, it is two D six times ten minutes. So five times ten. So wow. fifty Holy minutes. Cow. That's, yeah, that's dead a lot of silent. I will keep talking. You all will not be able to hear me. <laughs> Ariel's like, oh, that's fine. I can't hear you. I can't. Yeah, no one can hear anything. <laughs> it is like, <laughs> silent within this like little bubble area. But you have to walk away from me for can to, for you to go to can. Yeah, do the lie and then run back into the silence. <laughs> <laughs> Can gives a very like shaky thumbs up with their like bound rooted limbs and like a nod and almost takes a sentry like position at the column, um, opens the door to this planet and waits. And as you all wait, it doesn't take more than 10 minutes. You hear running a little bit kind of off kilter, like ta-tun, ta-tun, ta-tun. Um, like it isn't an even canter. As you see both Captain Gold, Tim's dad, and a small dwarfish woman. Um, you hadn't really encountered her. You'd seen her as part of the initial encounter, but she'd remained quite quiet. They are both covered in blood. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, just on uh, Captain Gold, it is this bright green neon. You've seen it happen with Tim when he's been injured. Just this neon green viscous blood on um, the shorter woman, this sort of deep maroon. Um, you can see that she has sort of like this incredibly flame orange hair, um, small little fangs when she's snarling through grimacing in this pain that she's in. Uh, they are kind of looking around fervently and lock eyes on Can in this open doorway. Greetings. Seven crewmates went through ten minutes ago. Would you like to pursue? And you'll see kind of Captain Gold looking around fervently like, this is a little bit odd, but of course you'd leave the door open because that's the only way to get back. He's read the logs. Um, mm -hmm. So he will look around and I got a roll for him to see if he notices you all throughout all of the shenaniganery you've done. Um, I it'll be at disadvantage. You're yeah, you're silent. I say, I just have a sign that says, this is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Here we does go. it have a smiley face on it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. This is like verbatim. Like, this is it. <laughs> he rolled a nat one. He doesn't yeah. see shit. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. Amazing. So he will, he is kind of looking around super, just like angry. There is blood covering his face. It is almost obscuring his vision as he gruffly sort of shoves Can out of the way and him and the small woman bolt through the door. What'd you like to do in these last few moments we have? I'm gonna look at everybody and just be like I'm gonna I'm gonna sprint out and tell Cam to close the door. You are not following. Not yet. Later. Understood, and they will take they will take their hand off of the column, and the door will shut. Well, it's a shame we'll never see what's on that planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow. back in a few years. <laughs> you now have two very far away, pissed off pirates, but nineteen other hordes you can explore. But that'll be for next time. Woo! Woo! 40, 48, 48 <laughs> minutes of silence. 48 we'll minutes never of have problems again. Oh, we'll man. never have oh problems again. Oh my gosh. Amazing. <laughs> I'm sure that won't come back to bite you. No. Um, how could it? The conflict, it? it's done. <laughs> we, the, the next episode is just us exploring every planet at our leisure. And, and we're talking there's, about our sad there's backstories. No downsides. Yeah. yeah. It's just uh, us sitting amazing. in a coffee shop on one of the moons. <laughs> yeah. Talking about all of your depressing backstories. <laughs> it's going to be the most fun epilogue montage ever. Why is there a Starbucks <laughs> here? <laughs> it's it's a Starbucks, though. Hey! Yeah, on that yeah. Absolutely ridiculous No, We're going to do our outros. Aww. I'm going to love Star you all so much. Hope that you have a wonderful day night wherever you are. Be good, be safe. Love you all so much. And we will see you next week for our finale! Yay! Woo! Bye, all.
I'm tired. Bye, buddy. Yay!